Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your daily advice for February 28th, 2017. Thank you for joining me. Um, and so if you're new to my channel, welcome. This is a general reading uh, for everybody watching, regardless of what sign you are. Um, and we're looking at the energies that surround us um, at this time and what we need to know about these energies in order to be able to use them for our highest good, okay? So it's more of a look at what potential we have to work with um, towards achieving our goals, okay, for this particular time frame. Um, and don't get too stuck on the date. Whenever you receive this message, that's when uh, it will do the most good to receive the message, okay? But since we are looking at energies, these will um, manifest in different ways for different people, really. And so for some of us, these messages may talk to us about our jobs, about our relationships, our health, our uh, spirituality. It can be different things, okay? It's going to be different things for different people. So do keep an open mind and take away the message of the reading um, and then apply it to your own situation if you feel that it speaks to that. Okay, so it looks like a day focused uh, or centered around uh, partnerships for us. Uh, and I feel that we have the opportunity to heal certain relationships in our lives, uh, relationships of any kind. Uh, we can get second chances, okay, with the with this, or uh, we have the opportunity to to make new partnerships, to create new uh, relationships, new bonds. And this can be in a work sense. This can be friendship. This can be a romantic. Um, and, you know, it can be a relationship with ourselves where we redefine what the relationship is with ourselves. Maybe we forgive ourselves for something and we learn how to nurture ourselves more and to show ourselves more love. But it feels more of partnerships and connections um, with other people, okay, or other situations outside of ourselves, okay? So, the first card that we have representing the influence of the past on our current situation, we have the King of Cups. And this is the Spiral Tarot, uh, for those of you who are interested. Um, so with the King of Cups, this is what it is in our past or who it is in our past um, that is influencing our current situation. The King of Cups, uh, in a general sense, when we're dealing with energies and not necessarily people, um, the King of Cups does represent our emotional life. Uh, how we relate, how we feel uh, about people in our lives, how we react to people, situations in our lives. Um, it can represent uh, emotional maturity. Uh, it can also represent dealing with a bit of a roller coaster, uh, emotional situations that feel uh, like they're controlling us, or it can be a person who's emotionally immature, who's trying to uh, control the situation, who's being stubborn, who's being impossible, uh, who's being very moody with this kind of energy. Or it can be that, you know, this may have been us a while ago and we've learned and we've grown. Uh, we have reached emotional maturity, maturity through the events and situations um, that we've been through, that we've experienced, okay? Uh, this can also be a father figure, so it can be how we learn about our sense of worth, what we are deserving of, uh, and how we relate to figures of authority, uh, to situations that feel controlling, okay, uh, and also how we use our own power, our strength, okay? And maybe we've learned how not to let our emotions um, sabotage situations or be the reason for self-sabotage, okay? It's a card of emotional maturity, learning about who we are, learning about uh, how we react, learning about our emotions, where they're coming from, what they're triggered by, and reaching emotional maturity where we are now in a position where we can understand our emotions and choose how to manifest them, how to express them, okay? 
For today we have the Five of Cups. So with the Five of Cups, it is a card that talks about the fact that we have been going through changes. It is the number five. Uh, or we are experiencing changes or we have the opportunity uh, to see changes or to create change in our emotional life, okay? And with this Five of Cups, okay, usually we're looking at what is lost, the cups that have spilled, okay? This is the past, this is done, this is nothing that we can do about the situation. It's the, often referred to as the card of crying, crying over spilled milk, okay? Because these situations, they're in the past, they're done, they're over. We can no longer do anything about them, and yet we continue to react to them. We continue to be affected by them. Uh, and right behind us over here is the Two of Cups, that is the card of partnership, and it's right behind us. So it's a card that is asking us to change our focus. It's a card that is asking us to apply what we've learned, okay, with the King of Cups, to change how we react to situations, to change what we focus on, to change how we see ourselves, how we see our success, how we see our failures, okay? Um, and to choose to let the past be the past, forgive ourselves for whatever we need to forgive ourselves for, and then just turn around and focus on the blessings, turn around and focus on the opportunities because there will be an opportunity for a partnership today. For some of us, this feels like the opportunity to go back and heal a partnership, something that was lost, but something still remained. So for some of us today, we do have the opportunity to go back and fix a partnership, heal a partnership. Now that can be to uh, finally express what we've been feeling and get closure from that situation so that we can let it go and turn around and focus on new beginnings, new opportunities. We can redefine relationships today where we can forgive someone and then try to have a different relationship with them, a better relationship, a healthier relationship. Um, we could be looking at changing our focus and how we look for jobs Okay, and that's how we have a new job offer coming our way today from a place that we are not looking at, okay? It's an option that we are not considering, that we have not been considering. Today we have the opportunity to just turn around, to switch our focus, to try something new, to change our approach, but it does start with how we feel about ourselves and how we feel about what we're trying to accomplish. We need to believe in ourselves. No more self-sabotage, no more dwelling on mistakes or failures or anything like that, okay? There's no such thing as a mistake as long as we learn from it. It's always a lesson. It's not a mistake. It has a purpose. It has a point if we learn from it. Uh, it's, it's a growing experience, okay? It's not a failure. So again, it's all about focus. How do we look at a situation? Do we look at it and see, okay, well, I may have, you know, jumped the gun there. Maybe I could have reacted better, okay? I will know this for next time. And then you get the confidence and the experience out of that lesson. Or we could look at a situation and just start beating ourselves up over it and feel like, oh my God, I made a mistake and I shouldn't have done that. And then start you know, using bad words uh, towards ourselves. That's self-sabotage, okay? And that's what this is. So we have the opportunity to change things today. Turn things around to focus on the blessings. It starts with us, we have to forgive ourselves, other people, situations in our lives that didn't turn out the way we want them, wanted them to. It's time to forgive and release them so that we can try again, so that we can try something different, okay? So that we can heal. So for today, changing our focus, our mindset, how we feel about ourselves and what we're trying to accomplish, will create change that ushers in new partnerships. That could be a new job, that could be a new relationship, it could be a new friendship that's very significant. Anything, okay? Any kind of partnership, any kind of emotional interaction, okay? And the way that we're moving into the future, we have the lovers, okay? This is the energy that we're moving into the future with. And the lovers is uh, cho choices and commitments. So it is looking at all our options, 
and then choosing which one is the best one for us and then committing to that choice okay and that's how we're moving into the future with with confidence and commitment okay now this can be um, the opportunity to get back together with someone it can be the opportunity to heal a relationship by taking a new approach to it and how we interact with each other and how we commit to each other healing some trust issues healing uh, by letting go of past disappointments and past situations that uh, have been hurtful so forgiving is how we heal and we give the relationship a proper chance we could be looking at the lovers in terms of commitments in terms of work and financial commitments so something that we change in our approach today will bring us a new partnership that if we commit to it will bring us long-lasting success and prosperity okay and a sense of security success abundance here um, so it's definitely all about partnership here because our, our guidance card is the card of partnership number 32 and that, that adds up to a five so again the energy of the, of the day okay we have five of cups and fives talk about changes adventures the opportunity to do something different the opportunity to try a new approach okay and change is what brings us a new partnership okay or a new type of partnership where we improve on something we heal something we fix something we give a second chance to a partnership and so on so this is how we get to uh, having that new job having that new relationship having a better relationship with ourselves healing a relationship forgiving a situation and releasing it so that we can have a new approach if we want to try again we are also reminded with this kind of energy that we're never alone we are in a partnership with the divine we are in a partnership with our angels our guides uh, the universe we are never alone so with the five of cups don't feel like you have to do everything yourself don't feel like you have to be perfect don't put that much pressure on yourself don't put that much stress on your shoulders take a different approach turn around and find strength in your partnerships turn around and find confidence opportunities and blessings through your connections look for meaning in your current connections focus nurture your current connections or look to connect with new people today that's what we are asked to do and we may find that we establish some very very significant partnerships today that will be in our lives for a long time to come and they will be a positive force in our lives so for today it's change the message here is is to change our approach to find new partnerships to change our approach towards existing partnerships to heal them to improve them to give them a second chance redefine them or definitely to turn to our partnerships for strength for confidence for guidance we're not alone okay so that's our message for today it's a really beautiful message the past is the past and it's supposed to stay the past so let's not try to relive the past or carry it with us uh, forever let's not beat ourselves up about situations in the past where we could have done things differently and we could have reacted differently and we could have tried something different and the past is the past but we can honor the past by learning from it and using what we have learned to make different choices in our present towards our future we're not supposed to carry it with us forever we're not supposed to see our past as a burden as something to be ashamed of something to hold us back something to keep us frozen in a place of sadness sorrow disappointment depression okay so let's 
change something today let's have a different approach to things let's forgive ourselves that's a big thing and forgive people and situations that have hurt us in the past so that we can release them we're carrying that burden with us and it's clouding us from seeing the other uh, relationships that we have in our lives that are really really good very positive and definitely worth our while and maybe we're not investing in these relationships properly because we're focused on the past or we can't see the opportunities for new partnerships we can't see the, the opportunities for new beginnings for new connections in our lives because we're carrying the past and it's clouding our judgment and also let's change our approach in terms of it's me against the world I have to do everything I have to be perfect I have to know everything let's show ourselves some compassion today let's let our guides help us let's let our angels and the universe help us we are in a divine partnership before all else so let's rely on that today they're always there we just have to call upon them we just have to ask they will provide so it's a beautiful day to change our approach in terms of our emotional life to have forgiveness healing release gratitude and new opportunities it should be a really beautiful day i'm looking forward to uh, your comments let me know how it goes for you let me know um, if the message helps okay but there you have it okay that's our message for today um, again I hope that it helps and thank you uh, again for joining me and for all your support I do appreciate it um, just a quick reminder the New Year special and the Valentine's specials uh, are only going to be available uh, until the end of the day until the end of the 28th but you still have spring specials that you can take advantage of um, all the links you need for specials or private readings of any other kind are in the description box below um, email me if you have any questions okay if you can't find the information you're looking for on the website but there you have it just a quick reminder so thank you again let's make it a great day and I'll talk to you again tomorrow take care